All right, now, we're in Mass Effect 3. <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, we are, so we've done all the talking. We have allers on the ship. And I think we just, we've done everything that we need to do. We just got to go to uh, the old Citadel. I do want to scan. I never did look this up. Hey, Manor Milk, how's it going? I never did figure out the hell this does. Because this is substantially different than ME2. And so I just have no idea. Oh. Wait, is that... Is this supposed to be Reapers or... I think that's supposed to be Reapers. <laughs> I found something. Hey. What? That's oh, okay. So this is, oh my god, so slow. What the hell? Okay, the scanning's a bit odd. Did I miss? What the hell? So I just found a bunch of random stuff. Okay, that's not nearly as fun. <laughs> Scan the planets. Run! Oh, Jesus. What? <laughs> Quickly, investigate. Oh, we found fuel. Ah, ah, ah. Evasion I'm out. Successful. <laughs> What the hell? God damn it, game. Fucking EA. Every time I try to fucking leave. Or try to get an achievement. I can minimize my shit. Okay. So basically we can just scan... The planets. Without having to actually go to them. That's interesting. It's kind of a bummer. Because it was cool to get... To, you know, go through the planets and, and do the whole thing. Alright. To meet the diplomats. We have to do that one. And then up here is Cerberus. Yeah. Alright, let's go. We'll go to we'll Citadel, do Cerberus, and then do whatever else we're doing. But it seems like the Citadel stuff is going to take a while. Because there's just so much. Is there anything to scan here? No. Let's do it. Oh, we can go straight to Bryson's lab. Uh. Yeah, right. I I definitely didn't outrun them. <laughs> but yeah, they came and we had to like run away. Uh, I guess let's just go to Bryson's lab since there's option. What the game? Why are you telling me this right now? Game, get that shit off the thing. Thank you. I want you to match this against all known locations and update the map. They contact what the is this? For a progress report. Yes, sir. Oh, Commander Shepard, we've been expecting you. Just a moment. And Hadley, could you gather the Leviathan data for us? The Leviathan. Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. <laughs> I love that I just have my casual not. hoodie. Our mandate is to investigate legends, they... rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. Could have used your help three years ago. Yes. If people had paid more attention to your Prothean beacon, we might not be in this war. But now with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough is near. What? Hadley, do you have the data? This man's about to shoot him. No! What the hell? Motherfucker. Uh. This is Commander Shepard. I need CSEC at my location. Now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Of course. 
friends at Records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a CSEC alert from this location. Were you harmed? I'm fine. But I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. <laughs> I need to know what this task force was up to. We just have a sexy robot, you know. Nothing, what? nothing, I... uh, nothing to see here. What's happening? You're a murderer. You just shot your boss. He's dead. Why? After you arrived, it was dark, cold, like I was somewhere else. That wasn't me. Take a good look. You did that. You pulled the trigger and killed him. No. <laughs> no. I couldn't have. No, I'm not a murderer. So someone else pulled that trigger? <laughs> but I would never do that. Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. <laughs> that artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you want to... What's wrong? Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. They just killed that man? Get him over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with him. <laughs> yes, sir. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating, I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation. I don't know if this is DLC or not. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator. And it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, oh, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. I see Bryson's point. Anything capable of bringing a Reaper down is worth finding. Despite the potential dangers it could pose, I would agree. <laughs> but we won't know unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. The only thing I hate about Edie is her hair. <laughs> I absolutely hate that hair. The assistant mentioned. And here's the log. appears to be our best lead to track Leviathan, hmm. but he does not state a destination. Let's focus on what he does say, then. He mentioned extrapolating Leviathan's path. And crunching numbers. He wasn't flying blind. He had data. A significant amount of data, judging by this office. So how do we narrow it down? Bryson and his colleagues evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garneau. What? Oh, I guess the Edie's just on our team now. Does this tell us where Garneau went? I'm level 35. But we may be able to narrow down his location if we find clues he was using in his search for Leviathan. A search lab for clues. All right, let's level up real quick. Also, I think we need to level up. Yeah, Edie. Defense Matrix? Unshack. Oh, okay, that's her thing. Okay. Distract opponents. Weird. I mean, let's give her. Overload. I also figured out how to. Capacitate weaker enemies. 
Uh, do recharge, then we'll do the shield one. I did figure... <laughs> yeah, he's real good at distracted players. Um, I did figure out how that quick use power works. I think we just want the damage. The damage is good. Ooh, do we want recharge speed or 40% digital damage or six, 8 seconds? I think we want the recharge speed because this is just meant for chewing through armor. Oh, I don't have enough points. Okay. And then what about me? I have 8 points. We're going to take Assault Mastery. God, yeah, 25% more damage <laughs> for Nova. Absolutely. And then... I guess incendiary ammo is going to be... Increases health and armor damage bonus. Hmm. Or we have like an AoE effect. I think this is better. Just a flat 10% damage increase against armor and health. And then I guess headshot damage, even though we don't really headshot. The ammo capacity is kind of whatever because we use power so often. Um, maybe I don't go. Maybe I go fitness because it's just flat health and then melee damage. Because we need health. Like health is super important for this build. Yeah, I think you go health. No, you go health. Um, you might take shield. I don't really need shield delay because I charge gets it. So I guess you take melee spree. But then you take this one, you get 40% increased health. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. That's fucking creepy. Is that alive? What the hell? I get the feeling this is DLC. It feels like a DLC mission. Um. So yeah, I think it, my my assumption is that it is. Ooh, what is this? Pistol, cranial trauma system. What does that even mean? SMG parts. What is this out here? Is this something? It is. Ultra light material. Oh, nice. That's that's actually convenient. Uh... <laughs> oh, we should take the screaming head, put it <laughs> put it like the mess hall of the Normandy. H9. Oh. at the moment. He has a daughter. Oh, that's interesting. It is possible that Bryce's team is using ancient Rachni's fleet activity to find Leviathan. If we can find data on the movements of ancient Rachni's ships, it may help us narrow our search. Okay. Those appear to be sightings of ships that match Rachni signatures. Can you add a cross? Oh my God! Can we go find the Rachni Queen? Adding the search filter, you may examine the results on the Galaxy Map program. Okay. Meteorite fragment, maybe. Rock. He was studying it as an object of importance. We should look more closely at a sample. Let's do it. Meteorite sample. With traces of element zero. Would Leviathan need Ezo? While it is not Ezo. consumed as fuel during FTL travel, element zero will decay after several centuries of active use. If Leviathan is old enough, it would need to replenish its supplies. Okay. Can you give me a search filter for locations with element zero? Adding this search filter to the galaxy map. Nice. Bryson was tracking unexplained creature sightings. The photographs have a trace chemical. Residue. Look at this photograph. It visible under another light source. 
I don't notice any. Or I don't recognize any of the people. Is that fucking... This top right one, I think that's... No, that, that time-wise, does that make sense? That looks like Kem Val from fucking Bioware's... I guess it's, I don't know if it's Bioware's or not. But uh, the Swotor, the Old Republic MMO. That definitely looks like that Kem Val, dude. That's wild. Oh, now we have it lit up. Examine. Oh, Roger there you go. <laughs> Had to turn it on. He was attempting to extrapolate a course. And Garneau could have been following that course. Edie, can you add a search filter for systems along that projected path? Adding the search filter now. Let's see. Anything else? Another Sir, video. We know the Reapers are after Leviathan. Studying Reaper hunting patterns could be vital to finding it. That date is classified top secret, Dr. Bryson. If it falls into the wrong hands, it won't. The data's encrypted. I'll keep the decryption key safe. Close to my heart. Close to his heart? What the hell does that mean? It's literally in his heart. The Reaper fleet activity is encrypted, per Bryson's statement in the law. He said he was keeping the decryption key close to his heart. It's his daughter. By Anne Bryson. Age nine. Records indicate Anne is now 28. She works for the Alliance. Bryson was keeping the encryption key close to his heart. What's closer? Yeah, I knew it. An interesting hypothesis. But I detect no trace of the decryption key in this... art. <laughs> the heavy pause. Sovereign, vanguard of our destruction. How's that working out for you, big guy? Yeah, I'm the only vanguard in this house. Let's see. So it still has it that I could touch or I could inspect the art. So I feel like I'm going to need to go back to that. Oh, here's more art. Another piece of Anne Bryson's childhood art. Wait a minute. Yep. Well, take a look at that. I can use these numbers to construct a decryption key. All right. Let's get back to the data pad we found earlier. Hell yeah. Anything else up here? Dr. Bryson, per your request, I'm clearing the oh. Force Aurora for intercepted Batarian communications regarding <laughs> Oh yeah, I gotta find the bowling trophy. Absolutely, right now. Decryption complete. Analyze that was quick. Data. These movements do not match the standard invasion pattern. The Reapers are searching for something. And I'll bet Garneau used this intel. Uh -huh. Can you make a search filter for it? Adding it now. These are all murders in which the accused lacked a known motive and claimed memory loss. Just like Bryson's assistant. Oh. You think Garneau was following a trail of blackout crimes? It is possible. We need to find data matching dates and locations for crimes. Of Here's the time and date chart for the crime. <laughs> Can you it's like look at his other monitor? Memory loss. Doing so now. Okay. Interesting. We got to be close, right? Hmm. Oh my god. What the hell? All right then. Reactivity locations at Rachni. Oh, so we need there's one more thing, I think. Reaper activity. This is really cool. Based on the search results, Garno is in one of these five systems. I have marked the Normandy map with possible locations. We can leave now. No, Unless we're narrowing this damn now. search. Element zero deposits. Okay, so three. Rachni activity. <laughs> Rachni activity. Also, no the Rachni. 
Okay. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Blackout crimes. No, that was no also result. relevant. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Alien sightings. Do we? No result. Some of our search parameters what may the be hell? irrelevant. There must be something I'm missing right there. That's gonna bust this whole thing open. What is this? Is this Prothean? Yes. I believe Dr. Bryson and Liara would have had much to discuss. Can you add a search True. filter for locations known to have Prothean ruins or artifacts? Of course. Prothean artifacts. Nope, didn't mean anything. No okay, result. so we narrowed it down to three. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Okay. That's interesting. So we've, we've done everything and we narrowed it down to three locations. All right, we can get out of here. I think, yeah. All right. Purgatory Bar, Presidian Commons. Where is it? Let's see. Banner of the First Regiment, a Turian artifact was discovered on from Castellus. Find someone on the Citadel who can use it. Okay. Grissom Academy, Leviathan, Cerberus Lab. No, where is... Where is the other... Like, where's the Liar or um, Arya shit? Can I deactivate them? Let me see. Cause, Cause I don't think. Like, let's see. Let's take out. Rakdai. Location of the element zero is important. Three possibilities. Yeah, okay. So I think the idea is that it's just we had to go to these three to look around, do some exploring. Like maybe the idea is that he didn't have like obviously this guy didn't know where it was yet either. So he we could but we were able to narrow it down to three from all the ones he had. Okay, let's go to I guess let's go to the Presidium. I would like to change my party though. But, you know. Does it let me pick my party? Come on, game. Yeah, we also gotta go see freaking... What's his face? Caden. Oh, maybe I don't get to. Okay, what am I doing here? That's elevator. So we got Oliara, Edie, and Joker all here. Oh, this is just the base area, it looks like. There's a shop right here, though, so let's go over here. Is, it, is this a bank? Support the gung-ho. The Alliance can use your help. Yeah. There's plenty of non-combat roles. Um, thanks? Who was that? The first human specter. Wow. The first human specter? Overcharging for goods. What the heck? Denying refugees basic services. Uh. It seems the Reapers took our culture when they took our world. Uh. Welcome to That's sad. Exports. What we got? Oh, we can get the Blood Dragon armor. That's funny. The Reckoner Knight. That's cool looking. A koi fish. We all know I can't keep the koi fish alive, so I'm not gonna bother. Let's see. This is a flat damage increase to sniper rifles. That could be good. I'm gonna grab that. It's not necessarily good for me, but. 
Ooh, the Reaper Carbine. Geth Plasma SMG. Yo, what? These are cool. The Executioner Pistol. One shot, one kill approach. It's pretty cool. Shredder mod. Here's the server's armor. Aquarium 6. What? Automatically dispenses food. Oh, that's funny. Ooh, the ultralight for the pistols might be good. I kind of want this. A secondary barrel that fires one armor piercing round per main barrel burst. What? Oh, so it's a burst SMG. Superconducting to the break apart on impact, retaining an electrical charge that flash converts to shrapnel into plasma. Holding down the trigger speeds up its rate of fire. Rapidly depleting the gun's heat sink. Interesting. I kind of want this. This just looks cool. But then the pistol could also be really fun. The executioner. I can't afford both of them. <laughs> I'm doing it. I want to see both of them. The Rieger Carbine. I don't trust the AI to use that. <laughs> no? Okay. Alright, so we got some sick weapons. Let's go find... Well, let's go find Liara and... Um... Because we're really at Apollo's Cafe. And then... Meridian Marketplace. Okay. Go find them. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> the girl's breaking up with her military boyfriend. We're out there, Liara. Liara. That's not her, is it? We can't spend our lives waiting for that. We're in the middle of war. Listen, do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad out there. Uh, we will. And thank you. <laughs> I'm just over here solving marital problems. You know, no biggie. It's it. That's not the R, is it? No. There's the. Oh, there's ED. Okay, let's. The R is supposed to be up here somewhere. That's not her. Oh, right there. No. Where? There you go. <laughs> Still working. One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? How could I forget? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Tranks. Heavy arms, mercenary groups. Should relax we'll more. Take a moment for yourself now and then. Yeah. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus Barlavon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Oh, interesting. Barla Vaughn. Is he supposed to be here somewhere? Oh, he's at the bank. Okay. Alright. That's cool. I'm into it. I do, I love this. This is great. This is such a good convenience thing where it just, it gives you points of interest. What are you doing, Edie? Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? 
Does objective reality exist? That kind of thing. Uh. I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. <laughs> I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. <laughs> Even when someone is romantically invested. <laughs> Dill, I've seen you fuck Shepard. They can't stop thinking about you. You know, asking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades, and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss mm. how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. Well, that's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. <laughs> no, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. There you go. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. <laughs> sure. Sure. The important thing is to have a good time wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. <laughs> I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> You're just helping a robot fuck our pilot. It's fine. It's fine. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Let's see. Oh, we've been here before. Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither Welcome. should you. Joker. Hey, Commander. Check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments. Tips on how to make your apartment look bigger. And, oh, yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. <laughs> Why is his mouth not closed? People have no idea. <laughs> when big events shake weird. up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. It's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep. It'll happen. Once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. Did she run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Brolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. <laughs> I'm getting some use out of those disabilities. They're perfect for each other. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. <laughs> Shepard's like, my pilot's gonna fuck a robot. You know, good for him. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases. Let's see, are these shops as well I can access? I'm afraid I can't help no. you. But your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need a new model or store credits or anything. No. Are you keeping this guy at work while there's a war on? Uh, <laughs> well, it's his job. Get the hell out of here. Actually, I'm supposed to be on break. Contacting the family I haven't heard from in days. Uh, yeah. I guess maybe a war's a bad Because <laughs> if you don't got a receipt or anything, get out of here. Didn't cross your mind the other ten times you visited this week? Uh, yeah, sorry. I'll just, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've never seen anyone so obsessed with getting a refund for a toaster oven. I think he's junky. I don't know why I was able to help that, but you know, whatever. We'll take it. We're seasick. We don't got nothing seasick, right? No, okay. So we just gotta go to... It does say there's a shop over there, though. Can we maybe use this shop now that we've helped the customer? Oh, we can. The Venom Shotgun? Solarian such a Double barrel fires ammunition that detonates on impact while third barrel below can be charged to fire a round of micro grenades. What? 
Given the covert nature of the STG assignments, the Venom was designed to force an exit strategy. Now it was issued to teams whose primary objective was to extract compromise and recover operatives. Shotguns now issued to frontline soldiers in the war against the Reapers. I mean, let's grab it. That just sounds cool. We'll give it a shot. Wait, what was that lightweight one? Oh, it's just these ones. We had the. Do we have the shotgun one? Hmm. We'll grab it. Because we're more about we're more about um, powers, so I, I need to be as lightweight as possible. Yeah. All right. So we go see this Barlavon dude. Which, if he makes us pay money, then we're in trouble. <laughs> if we don't have any money. Is it upstairs? No, no, it's straight in front of me. I was having trouble reading that map because it tells us we're going backwards. I was like, what? Let's see. I'm assuming it's a guy over here. No. Bar I thought they said it was a Volus. Huh. Barla Vaughn. Yeah, it says he's over here. Barla Vaughn. Oh, is it this guy? Is something. No. Hold on. I feel like something's wrong. Like the two voluses are like frozen. Let me let me load that quick save I just did. Cause that, that something felt off about that. Like I should be able to interact with. There we go. Yeah, that was weird. Commander Shepard. It's been some time. Bitch, it's been like five minutes. I just came over and talked to you. On, in case you've forgotten. Financial advisor. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. I remember you. You used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. I still am. The broker has been exceedingly busy lately. Nice. A team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper-controlled territory. Rescue the guards, and they're yours. The <laughs> Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. I'm aware. I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. The Reapers are advancing all too quickly. Okay. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so we did that one. Let's go. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. The docks holding area. What do we had to do there, I don't know. We go, let's go to Huerta, because that's where both Thane and Caden are, so we might as well. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. There he is. There's that boy. <clears throat> Sir. Commander Shepard, when I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. He's just like punching the air. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Nice. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend, Caden. He got hurt protecting me. The human biotic and in intensive care. <coughs> I saw the marks of an implant. Yeah. We have spoken. Uh -uh. He seems an honorable sort. Your enemies may try to finish him off here. I will look out for him. Nice. I appreciate it, Thane. Oh, I thought I kissed him. I was like, what? I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. 
Kepril Syndrome has put most <laughs> of my other plans on hold. Uh. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. Nice. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. Oh, wow. Well. Right, he definitely can't come with me. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My oh, that's cute. Visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. That's cool. All right, let's go see Caden. Let's see. Nice. I'd like an answer, Major. <laughs> Look at hate. He's like jacked as fuck, laying in bed. You'll have it soon, Counselor. I promise. I look forward to it. Get out of here, Odina. Shepard. Shepard. Odina. Hey. Shepard, hey. You, you just missed snack time. Actually, that's probably a good thing. Thanks for coming. No problem. What did Adina want? Still thinking about the Spectre position? That was a big honor. A huge responsibility. Just need to be sure. Oh, that's cool. Okay, He's going to become a Spectre? Wow. Thanks, Shepard. That's really great. Just a little bit. <laughs> Maybe when I'm out, we can crack it open and celebrate. I am so ready to get out of here, Shepard. You can't tell, but I'm tied to this bed by medical red tape. I'm a doc. Doc says I'm good to go, but then she always finds just one more test to run. How are you really? You doing okay? My implant got a little rattled, so Doc just wants me to keep the biotics offline for a bit. It's really no big deal. Need me to break you out? <laughs> I'll let you know. I'm glad you asked me to come. It's good to see you're going to be okay. Thanks. You almost died on my watch. It was horrible to see. I want you to be straight with me. <laughs> so I just want to make sure, after Mars, after Horizon, you and me, we're good. We've been through hell together, had each other's backs. That kind of bond is hard to break. No, not just that. You were my commander, sure, but you listened, too. We went through Ash's death together. Yeah. We did. A racist bitch. <laughs> Are we good? Yeah. We're good. It was great to have you back. We Gucci. Thanks. Feel like we cleared the air? Yeah, you know, I'm I'm not sure that I've been wrong about Cerberus, but I've been wrong about Yeah, you. Cerberus sucks. I should let you get back to the Normandy. Wish I could come with you. Take care of yourself, Caden. We need you at a hundred percent. We'll do. Thanks for coming. <laughs> it looks so oh my god, it's standing on. It looks so ridiculous. <laughs> he looks like he's in a child's bed. Oh, it's so weird. Look, I think we all want to be tied to a bed at some point. Just not in the way Caden is. <laughs> it's completely tasteless to call this place what? Huerta Memorial. President what? Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. What the hell? He can't remember his own name without the VI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five judges no, get out of here. Having drive your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. I did. But it's the same thing, isn't it? 
he walks and makes noises just like they do. <laughs> Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Yeah, get out of here. I like how you can just like shut down a bunch of Karens. <laughs> like, like, is that really what we're doing here? Alright. Let's go hang out with Arya. Go see what's going on. Oh, can I dance here? Oh, James is also here. Look, there's a dance floor, and that's the important part. Let's do it. I like how I just skipped the line. Assholes. What the hell? Why does this guy look like a prisoner? Yeah, we have the same thought. So, uh, the bar's over there, and, uh... What the hell? Hey, here. hey guys! Um, yeah, we were going to, uh... Have Oof. Guys night. Oof. Okay, there's Arya. So yeah. You admit you and your thugs are here illegally. Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. <laughs> I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Uh, Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> I think we're done here. <laughs> this is an absolute power Shep move. Shepherd? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? <laughs> I guess so. I hate this. Good place. call, Buck. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my ship list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. Hell yeah. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. Let's do it. Do the way I see it. If you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. I mean, yeah. Don't fight Reapers. I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. Meet I mean, I'm not going to be picky. Who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. Okay. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. Oh. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. <laughs> I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? Yeah, probably. It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. <laughs> All right. So now is that is there anybody in here? No. Well, James and somebody's at the bar. What up, meathead? Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You're at a bar. I don't think I like getting dirty. Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by a loco. God, I hate this guy. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> see those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting the war. 
<laughs> yeah. Drunk as hell. They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. Hmm. You don't seem intimidated by me in the Oop. least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably. But I know you're human. Just like me. Sir, you I man? charge around the battlefield no. like a fucking wizard and then explode the, the ground. Like <laughs> I'm not human. Then, you're still larger than life. Uh, I mean, it makes sense. We'll just I've say this. A lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen, you want them to see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Then buy them around. Do it. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres, hey, the commander would like you to have a drink. On him. So here's to us. Who's what is that? Damn few. And they're all dead. <laughs> Why was that renegade? What? But we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. <laughs> Better not fraternize with your, your fellow soldiers. Cheers. That's a renegade option. Your yeah, loose cannon, Shepard. I was hoping. <laughs> what the fuck? Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. That's so weird. Why was that renegade? That makes no sense. Alright, so let's see. So is it just codex that I had to look through for my... Is this what it is? No. Where are my side quests? <laughs> like, what the hell? Okay, so here, okay, so they are starting to populate in here. It maybe it was because I, when I, before I reloaded, it had that issue. Hmm. Okay, so a technician at Purgatory on the Citadel needs to help improve power grid to keep things running. Find schematics for a new power grid. Where did I learn this? Heating unit stabilizers. Slaring on the Citadel needs new heating unit stabilizers. Find them and bring them to him in the Presidium Commons. Okay. Pearl of Vaughn. We still have to find somebody who could use this at the Citadel. And then let's see. So blood pack, gnarl in the preceding commons. Blue sons is Darner Voss in the Citadel refugee camp, and then Citadel embassies. Okay, but we obviously had to go dance. Oh, I guess yeah. I guess technically I'm professional, but also I am literally on shore leave. So it's just weird that, yo, don't, the world's ending. Let me dance. There we go. Man, what are you doing to that wall? <laughs> Hell yeah. Get it, Shepard. <laughs> it's like, we get it, man. You really like that wall. Oh, that's hilarious. This poor girl, just trying to be one of the guys. All right, so let's go, I guess, back to the commons. What's through here? Oh, that's just the elevator. Let's do it. Welcome, Commander Shepard. So, yeah, we'll go here first. Because in general, because of the way this, this transit's set up, I just like going from the bottom up. Okay, so we got to find Narl, who's in the apartments. Behind us. Okay. Have you decided how to tell him? I don't know. A text message is so impersonal. He's off risking his life. Oh he yeah. More than that. Wait, are they hold hands? Something. Oh yeah. I hate leaving vid messages. <laughs> gets flustered. We switch from financial Let's see. to military gear. We'll lose millions. Who cares? I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. Hell yeah. Look. Okay, 
<laughs> we just like completely fucked up that guy's business proposal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's good to see he hasn't gotten good dancing skills. What the hell are you talking about? What? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Aria brings him to Crete Commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Oh. Not the best start to our friendship, Naro. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This better be on the up and up. Quiet. Oh, it's fucking Borja. Even more powerful than Creek thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this. <sighs> Commander Shepard. Want you to know, your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. <laughs> Keep your distance, Creed. <laughs> Hell yeah. Do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. We're gonna be able to shoot him. Wasn't talking to you, Creed. Grill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! <laughs> <laughs> Savage. Not him. Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I scratch <laughs> I hate this. Word of advice. Don't double cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. <laughs> uh huh. Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. Ha! Ah, because he is green. <laughs> right, let's go. I like how I just executed two people and it's like Paragon. <laughs> it's like, I drank with my soldiers, Renegade. <laughs> it's like, okay. Figure out your priorities, game. Alright, looks like we can just go back. Where the hell's the elevator? Oh, it's right there. Um, yeah, it looks like now we can go to the embassies, I think. Alright, <laughs> let's go to the embassies. Oh. Does the, the voice person have a lisp? Let's see. There's the elevator. Probably open this. So we want. So there's nothing there. Joe Dumbau is somewhere here. Udina and then Commander Bailey. Okay. Where's this bow, sir? Where's John Dumbau? Did you get the hell out of the way? Is this him? He's got to stand by himself? Yeah, it is. I fully understand the situation. Oh, maybe not. Of course I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please. Please. A few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Uh. Someone in your family is MIA? My son, Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... Then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay. Either way, I thought we were gonna like help this dude right now, but I guess not. All right, where is this John Dumbau guy? It's not a Volus who's frozen again, is it? <laughs> uh.
I just is it Good morning. one of these people? Oh. Hello, ma'am. Ma We've had this discussion. What? Where is Jondam Bow? So it's somewhere. I mean, maybe this continues as four. I don't know. John Dumbao. Oh, is it this dude? Hey. Commander Shepard. John Dumbao. Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet grey market trade relationships with the Batarians and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar oh, yeah. escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. Oh, nice. I've been after her for years. Kasumi, you're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. <laughs> I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. Uh, okay. What do you need me to do? We'll help. The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. It's Thanks. so echoey for and some for reason. Record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. Sure. Oh, did it just automatically take me? Remember when you helped me oh, that's funny. The, box from Donovan Hawk, the one with information that could start a war. I thought we destroyed that information to keep you safe. There were enough clues left for me to piece things together when I... got curious. <laughs> It was big enough to leak it to Bao. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. Okay, that's cool. I'd appreciate it. Uh, okay, so we just have Kasumi with us. Oh, we're in the Spectre area. Shotgun ultralight. We bought we bought the one, so we'll 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 keep that for now. Military pardon for Normandy engineer. Oh, Donnelly's here. Surrender peacefully. For the Normandy was turned over to the Alliance. He appears grief stricken by death. A fellow engineer got Oh, that's sad. Who died in a collector attack? Did she die in the collector attack? Full crowded giving all available evidence against Cerberus. He maintains that he joined Cerberus purely in an effort to save endangered colonists and that he does not pose a serious threat. Spectre authorization could offer Donnelly a full pardon. Yeah, absolutely. Hanar Embassy Tracking. Enable. Okay. Let's say to avoid triggering surveillance countermeasures, embassy files must be accessed on site. Now points of consoles or access points with relevant information will be tagged on the Spectre's Omni tool. Shepard, I'm okay. checking security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar embassy? On it. Bao's got a good plan. Hanar are predictable. Anything suspicious in their terminal use should narrow down our list of suspects. Okay. So you approve of Bao? Absolutely. He's a good Spectre. The galaxy needs more like him. Nice. So where are we going now? Uh, I gotta go to the embassy offices. Okay. Well, nobody's perfect. Uh. Rodin. Now where is the terminal? It's not that one. I don't think she counts as a terminal. Oh, it's right there. Wow, I have some possible hits. Got some screen. Why did the Alone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Haloon. I'll pull his bio. 
<laughs> I'll check Olun's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for a Hanar to have a mistress? <laughs> Bow catches up with That's a good point. I can grant you immunity. What? If I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't I say that's fair. <laughs> you were working your way around to do it. True. 